Welcome to the AIR tutorial on how to use the AIR provider portal. From the AIR home screen, click the provider tutorial button on the left hand side of the screen. From the AIR home screen or the provider instruction screen, click the provider portal button. Once you click the Provider Portal button, you will be taken to the Terms and Conditions page. If you click I Agree, you will move to the AIR Provider Portal screen. On the AIR Provider Portal home page, enter your username and password you entered when you originally created your Provider Portal account. If you forget your username and password, Click the sentence at the bottom of the screen and you will be prompted to answer your security question in order to retrieve your username and password. Once your username and password is accepted by the server, you will be taken to the provider portal. From here, you may inquire about a participant's eligibility information or information regarding claims if you are the provider for that patient. In order to have claims for your organization displayed, you must have included your provider TIN number upon your initial setup. If you neglected to include all or the appropriate TIN number, from this page you may go to the top of the screen and click the Profile button to add a TIN. To add a TIN, once you click the Profile button, Choose the Provider Info tab and follow the instructions in the box near the bottom of the screen. On the home page, you may select the Online Customer Service tab to ask a general question. Once our office answers your question, you will receive an email notification that you have a message and at that time, you may go into the AIR Provider Portal site to retrieve your message. Please click the message button at the top of the screen once you log in to retrieve your message. The majority of the provider services can be found under the provider resources button. Please note you should have a copy of the members group ID card with you and a copy of your claim when using this service. Please note that there are limitations to the data displayed and be certain to carefully read the disclaimer and warranty page before you agree to use the services of the AIR provider portal. Once you click on the provider resource tab, you can view eligibility information on any participant in which AIR processes claims. However, to view this information, you must have the member's group ID card or know the member's ID number or social security number to view eligibility information. You may also search eligibility information if you know the member or participant's last name and date of birth. Once you enter this information, click the search button. Please note that only the participant for which you have entered search criteria information will be displayed if there is a match. If the participant displayed is the correct participant, click the participant's name and you will be taken to that participant's eligibility record. Should the system find claims that match your organization's TIN number, those claims will be displayed under the Claims tab near the top of the screen. To view the details of a claim, click on the highlighted claim number of the claim. Once you click the claim number of the claim that you want to review, a display screen that is similar to the explanation of benefits will be displayed. If the claim has been processed, the word process will appear after the claim status heading. Should the claim be pended, the word pended will be displayed after the claim status, including the reason the claim has been pended. 
should you have a question regarding the claim or be able to provide us with the information that has resulted in the reason the claim is in pending status, click on the I have a question about this claim button and complete the customer service screen. Once AIR reviews and has provided an answer to your question, you will receive an email instructing you to return to the AIR provider portal. Once logged into the portal, click the message button on the top right side of the screen to retrieve your messages. Thank you for watching this tutorial. We encourage you to learn to utilize this valuable resource for your patients. This concludes the Provider Portal Tutorial.